Alright, good morning, Screwball here. It is uh, Friday, July 17th, day 119 in my Appalachian Trail journey. Uh, we're heading out. Uh, this morning, going no set distance. We look, we want to at least make, uh, you know, 14, 15, but hopefully we make a few more than that. Uh, rain last night. Uh, pretty good rain, so the trail might be a little bit muddy. Temperature dropped down in the, the high 50s, but it's done supposed to warm back up until about 70 today. So we're gonna have a, a nice, you know, hiking day as far as weather goes. It's supposed to be clearing up a little bit, but Sunday's supposed to be 90 degrees up here, so it's gonna warm on up uh, tomorrow and Sunday. But uh, thanks for coming along. Y'all have a great day. We're going to. And uh, anything else comes up or when something comes up, I'll be glad to let you show it or let you see it. So again, thanks for tagging along. See y'all in a little bit. All right, it's near about 7 o'clock, but overcast in these uh, trees. It looks like it's still a lot later or a lot earlier, I should say. <laughs> We've been walking to a flat, mostly pines. Now we're getting into a mix here. You can hear the wind blowing. Uh, pretty cool, damp morning. Back home, it'd be, uh, you know, a good fall day. No doubt about it, late, mid-October type day. Not very many birds singing this morning. So, this is what we're starting off with. We'll see you on up the trail. All right, moving on up the trail. Getting a little foggy in the woods. Just don't think about the movie Mist. We'll be okay. All right, we're fixing to go around this, walk the edge of that ledge there. Sit down in the, the valley or the whatever they want to call it. I'll give you a little bit of trail time here. <clears throat> if I don't break an ankle while I'm trying to do it. Meet Zelda. We have named a boy and a girl all the way from that through the alphabet of little orange lizards this morning, and Zelda being the last one. And if I didn't spell it right, then I have my apologies. But uh, that's how many we have actually named today. No telling how many we passed. So now we can move on up the trail. All right, I got a little view this morning. Walk out in a little field, a little pasture. Looks like maybe a, a gas line also. You can see what the clouds look like. It's just a wet, dreary day. Move on up a little bit and see if I can get a shot back to further back that direction. All right. That's just a little bitty waterfall we're 
following the creek up. So I thought I'd throw it on here. All right, we just walked out into this little swampy area. You see water standing right there. Still foggy. Hard to see the mountains through the, the fog and the mist. But I thought since we was here, I'd show it to you. We're uh, heading for uh, about a thousand foot climb. So I don't know if it's gonna be back behind those clouds or gonna cut us hard to the right over here. I'm not sure, but right now we're going that direction. All right, today we've been walking to a lot of pine flats. Found a couple of mountains ones, but they were, had a lot of pine on them too. <laughs> Earlier this morning, we had some hardwood, but uh, right through the trees there is a big swamp, big wetlands, whatever you want to call it, that I think we may actually go through up here a little further up, and I'm not sure. But I just thought I'd show you what we're going through from, at the moment. I hadn't shown you too much today. It's been rainy, and, well, not necessarily rainy, but just foggy and cloudy. All right, we're crossing over a little swampy area here. I think this is the beginning of Goose Pond Colony, Colony, or something like that. So, just thought I'd let you look at the swamp. Don't see anything in it. Uh, but we're gonna move on up. Anything else comes up, I'll let you see it. All right, this is upper goose pond and use all the leaves on the trees, not really getting a great view of it. This is the upper end of it too, so it's a lot bigger than what you're seeing right there, which we're not going to go all the way to the end. We're fixing to make a right hand turn up here and go out. So, but I just thought I'd show that to you so you know where we're at. All right, right there's a little plank. This is near this site. On the shore of the Upper Goose Pond stood the little Hicknook Club. The club was incorporated in 1909 and for 72 years served to provide its memberships with good fellowship and fond memories. In 1981, the club convened its lands to the National Park Service and provided the Appalachian Mountain Club with a gift to assure that these lands would remain in wilderness preserve. July 24th. 1982. I don't know if this is part of the club, but it's an old chimney right here, old stone chimney. So I'm not sure if it's part of the old club or not, but there's an old stone chimney. Yeah, don't know when it was built, but like I said, right here on the side of the, of the pond. So we're gonna move on up. All right, this is going across Interstate 90. So I just thought I'd show you a little bit of that. Looks like we're gonna go down and around and go across the other side. We're we'll climbing those mountains tomorrow. We're not gonna climb them, we're gonna pull up short today. Just a little bit. We're gonna camp on this side of those mountains because we'll climb our mountains in the morning. Alright, don't move on. <laughs> 